viewers, hope we all had a wonderful day today. Um, it's your favorite show, Let's Talk on OB TV. And I am your presenter. My name is Bada Elizabeth Olua Tomisi, aka Lizzie. And I'm here with my co presenter. I call it Yeah, we're talking about a very, very interesting topic depression. What do you know about depression? What are the causes of depression? What are the symptoms of depression? Um, we would go deeply into the topic, to this particular topic. We'll be right back. We want to go on short break? Stay tuned. We'll be right back. back to your favorite show let's talk on all mobini tv yeah viewers back to you yeah we're talking about depression so maybe I think depression is classified as a mood disorder and it may be described as feelings of sadness loss or anger that interfere with a person's everyday activity yeah according to the psychiatric of Depression is defined as a mood disorder, which is a common and serious medical negativity illness that causes negativity and affects how we feel about things we do in our day-to-day -day activities. So, Jokas, I don't know if you have anything to say on the definition of depression. You are really giving it the first definition, and I concur to that. But it's important to realize that feeling down at times is normal. It's, it's a very normal thing for you to just feel down. Maybe after coming back from work, you feel so tired. It's normal. But if you feel, if you begin to feel down or hopeless regularly on a daily basis, then you, you, should, you should begin to check yourself. Depression is stepping in. If you begin to feel down so frequently and hopeless, begin to feel hopeless. Check yourself, depression is falling. Okay, yeah, viewers, what she's trying to say here is that it's normal to think about something. Sure. Because we might not be happy in every day, we might not be happy with everything we do, but you just need to take to stop everything. You don't take it too far, just take it as if well, it has happened and snap out of it. So, actually, there are some things like so many. We have so many things that causes depression. So so many things like name it. So so many. Um, the likes of unfavorable life events. When you think life has treated you so so badly, this might lead you to thinking. And when the thinking is bad and it's much, it might lead to depression. Then secondly, negative thoughts about oneself. Yeah, when you think. Um, life is, isn't fair with you, maybe you're doing bad and you see your so-called friends, maybe your pair group that they're doing better than you and you think, oh, life isn't fair and you think about it a lot, that can also lead to depression. Then poverty, when you think, oh God, you're so poor, like you, you, you're so poor to zero level and you think about it every day and you think you don't have any hope and you start thinking and thinking and thinking today, morning, afternoon, night, midnight, even sleeplessness, you don't rest, you think and think, this can also lead to depression. And Joker, straight to you, I don't know if you and if you know about other causes of depression too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's quickly talk about stressful events, okay. such okay. as you losing your loved ones. Just, just take a second and think of it that your dearly beloved mom that you just left together last night, then you waking up the next morning and the next thing say you cry at home, the, your mom is late. You know that feelings now that yes, my yes, mom, I saw her last night and yeah, you that shed yes, so many yes, things yes, that yes, you really yes, love. Exactly. Okay. That causes depression a lot. Uh -huh. And I can also say um, early childhood trauma. We can take trauma like accidents, okay. violence. That can as well cause depression. Okay. For you have been coming up and those experiences will keep coming, we keep, it will keep on reoccurring, reoccurring, and that causes depression. So let's just stop there.
to our viewers. I think that's a very, very good one from Jokers. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a very nice point. Um, yeah, now we're going to talk about the symptoms of depression. So maybe you have someone close to you. With the, with the symptoms, I think you will know what is actually wrong with the person if the person is in a depressed mood. So the number one symptoms on my list here is sadness. Yeah, when you think this person has no joy, like he's always sad, he or she is always sad all by herself, all on her own, you should know that this person is depressed. Then secondly, hopelessness. When you think like there's nothing left for you, like you have no hope, no place to go, nobody to look up to, no money, nothing to eat or any other figure, you're lacking behind. I think depression is coming your way. Now, no ability to take pleasure in ordinary activities like your friend calls you, let's go out, let's do this, let's do that. You have no interest, you've lost all interest in day to day activities. Then, let me tell you this depression is actually knocking on your door. Then, next on my list is loss of appetite. All the good foods you think you love before. Because you're certain stage that you don't want them anymore. You feel as in you think they are tasteless, you don't want them. When you see the flag like train in the way, then definitely I think you're depressed. You need to check yourself. Then sleeplessness. When you think you haven't slept at night, check yourself very well. Maybe you've been thinking a lot, you're thinking about what or two things maybe life hasn't been fair to you of lately. Just try and calm, be calm as much as possible because if you keep on thinking that we have the best night, it might lead to mental health and from that spring end, the pressure might actually affect you totally. So, Jokas, I don't know if you have any other thing to say. Symptoms? This is about just one symptom. Okay, okay. And such as we have anger, anger okay. aggressiveness, okay. Okay, restlessness, mood swing for a child. You know, it should not something that a child or a girl depressed. Yeah, little children get depressed now. You can see them now they're no longer cheerful, crying. And for an adult, unnecessarily just keep getting angry for little things that we do play with before. But when depression comes in, anger, aggressiveness, then you'll be restless. The way you, you just be restless. So let's just stop with that. Viewers, I think that's another good one from because actually me I don't know little children to get in a depressed mood but due to what she has said I've seen things in what she just said so let's please let's be careful and don't let us think deeply about anything let's just take it at life bridging so viewers we've had what Dockers has said and I've also given you tips on what we, what we are talking about. So this is my advice to you. If you think you've seen anybody, might be your friend, your brother, your sister, your neighbor, in this kind of mood, or you've seen any of the symptoms listed below, try to talk life into the person. Make that person happy. Buy him or her gifts. Take him or her out. Let that person be lively. Let him feel he has somebody to depend on. And by doing that, God will also bless you. So, um, before we wrap it up, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, OBTV. And on IG and Twitter, and do Omobini blog. And on Facebook, Omobini OBTV. And please don't forget to download our app on Play Store, Omobini TV. OBTV. And of course, for WhatsApp, text messages, or call, call the number showing on your screen on your screen right now, 0810-9727-784 or 081-3056-1963. And don't forget, don't forget it's, it's your favorite, favorite show. show. Let's talk on OBTV. Bye-bye.